Hello everyone. This is the price chart of uh, Sibanya Steel Water, the daily chart, looking at the normal candle. So here we're going to consider it in terms of ranging or trending environment. So here we can see that from here to the the price was going down. So we can look at this whole area of the chart as where it was in a downtrend. Then it went into an uptrend, it went into a downtrend, it went into a smaller uptrend, then a downtrend, and an uptrend again up to this point. Then it entered a short range whereby the price was going nowhere. It was just moving sideways. Then it went into a bit of an uptrend, then a downtrend into a range where the price was moving in a tight zone. Then it went into another uptrend, then a small downtrend. Then when you look at the chart here, you can see that this was more like a ranging type of environment where the price was stuck between 18 rand and 15 rand or 16 rand thereabout. There wasn't any massive movement there. Then it went into a sort of downtrend, then uptrend. Then this was a visibly uptrend. Then it went into a range. And it was stuck there until it moved into a downtrend. So if you zoom in, you can see nicely that you can look at this as a downtrend all the way to this point. Then it tried to go up, it came down again. Then this formation that it did here is something that usually traders like to see, but we'll discuss that in later topics. Then it moved upwards. It went into a downtrend, then upwards again, downtrend. Then it went into a huge uptrend. Then it reached a point where it was stuck in a range. So when looking at the charts, you should be able to see this clearly and be able to define what is happening. Once you define where the chart is, you can now position yourself to say, what is the next thing that I'm going to look for? You are probably looking that it will enter into a trend if it was stuck in a range. If it was in a, in a trend, you would now look at it maybe entering into a range or changing another trend from maybe uptrend towards the downtrend. So knowing those things and the turn of the markets is usually where the money is made. It's where smart decisions are made and people can be able to improve their worth substantially by knowing what things are about to happen next. So this was a look at defining the, the chart or market environment in terms of the two factors of a range or a trend. And the trend can be divided into an uptrend or a downtrend. So thank you. We'll continue with the next lesson where we are going to look at something more interesting as we dig deep into the trends and, and downtrends that we have discussed. Thank you.